Hey guys, I can't believe what Z-Max engine and fuel formula did to my engine. You're not going to believe this one. For starters, it's caused my engine to start leaking motor oil. And we're about to dive deeper into this. And we're going to test it on these crankshaft oil seals to see what went wrong. First, let's look at their claims. Z-Max engine and fuel formulas by virtue of dispersing carbon deposits, Z-Max helps improve performance, extend engine life, improve mileage, and reduce emissions. You can see the claims of cleaning fuel injectors. And here we have it. To start off, for the engine, help extend the engine life. Carbon buildup in your engine can cause increased wear friction on internal parts. This affects performance and the life of your engine. Add Z-Max micro lubricant to the oil so it can reach internal parts where it soaks into the metal. Continually weeping out to disperse deposits to clean and protect your engine by virtue of reducing deposits, Z-Max helps to reduce wear and friction, improve performance, extend the life of the engine, and reduce emissions. As you can see here, Z-Max Micro Lubricant uses the engine oil and fuel to carry your to reach internal parts, not affecting fuel or oil. Z-Max will not overfill your fuel or oil and will not void manufacturer's warranties. Can be used in new or used vehicles, gasoline or diesel. As you can see, these calipers aren't really what's best to be used for taking these measurements, but we can actually check the gasket, as you know, they harden and crack. That's actually what causes the oil leaks. So we'll be able to use this durometer to do just that. Here you can see our seal. You can see we have another brand new seal. Check out for a previous video. We have like a case of these seals. Okay, now let's go ahead and take our measurement. 79. Okay, would appear we have the same measurement. Treatment instructions. No oil change needed. This product is for cars, vans, light trucks, and sports utility vehicles. Use every 6,000 miles or at least twice a year. Add one 12 ounce bottle of Z-Max engine formula to your engine oil. Start the engine immediately. Note, for best results, the engine should be hot. Add the product and drive for 10 minutes. This is how we're going to add the product. We will add one quart of engine oil. This will be considered like a four quart system and 25% of that system. So we'll only need three ounces of the Z-Max formula. What I will do is add one of the seals to the engine oil only. Then we'll allow it to heat up. Then we'll add the Z-Max formula also and we'll compare it and see what the difference is. Go ahead, drop the seal in here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we do have the flame ready. So all I did was drain the oil back out into this because it's really not hurting the oil. Now we'll get our seal out. As you can see, right below four ounces.
Okay, so I just had the heat on low for both and used one can of fuel for each. That way it could go as long as it could. Made sure the temperature was about even for each. Let's go ahead and remove this oil. All right, let's go ahead and take our measurement. We'll sit it back on the table. We want it to be the same as before. Okay guys, it's time for us to check the hardness of these seals. Remember, an increased hardness in the seals is actually something bad. And we'll check the one that only used motor oil first to get a good baseline. 79 was our first reading. Seventy nine. Wow. I'm impressed. It didn't change. All right. It's time to find out if in fact Z Max was what caused my previous oil leak. Incredible guys. What an incredible jump. All right guys. I'm not joking at all. This is probably the worst experience that I've ever had using a product. Me personally. Now, it was the engine formula that I had the major issue with. I mean, it started burning a lot of motor oil. The fuel formula, not so sure about. So, we'll do some further testing on that if you would like. Guys, have you ever used this stuff? Can you share some experiences and shed some light on the situation? All right, I'm just trying to find out if this stuff is actually flammable because I'm sure something of that nature would not be good inside your engine mixed in with the oil because it may thin it out, but we'll perform some other tests just to see if that is the case with the viscosity or pour test. All right, well, I had it on there for at least a minute and didn't look like it was going to do anything. So thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.